Welcome to Perfect Stopwatch. We are the only source to certify 40-yard dash times in America. This is the end of 40-yard dashes being known to be inaccurate due to handheld stopwatches. And the beginning of a new era where 40-yard dashes will be timed perfectly down to the hundredth of a second with video proof. Be sure to follow these requirements in order to certify your sprint correctly. Record your sprint with the Perfect Stopwatch app. Click Allow Location Services when asked. The current wind speed needs to be below 8 miles per hour, which can be found at the top left of the homepage. Use an artificial turf football field, not natural grass. Start in a three-point stance and sprint 40 yards. Then finish watching this video to record properly. On the homepage, you can record a sprint, see other certified sprints, view your saved sprints, watch the tutorial again, see your current location's wind speed at the top left, and how many certification credits you have remaining. Let's start with how to record a sprint by clicking here. For the best accuracy and to qualify for certification or just to time a sprint for fun, click Record New Sprint. Here are two examples of how it would look. Have a coach, parent, or friend stand on the 40 yard line and near the hash marks, and the sprinter will start on the goal line about five yards away from the sidelines. As you see here, the coach is straddling the 40 yard line with his feet. While the coach stands on the 40 yard line, point the camera at the sprinter and zoom in. The sprinter will be in a three point stance like this with their hand behind the line. Once the sprinter is about to run, click record and slowly zoom out while trying to keep the sprinter in the middle of the video throughout the sprint. Perfect Stopwatch is great for quickly timing the whole team's 40s as well. Here's how it will look with the app. Stand on the 40 yard line. Aim the camera at the sprinter. Zoom in to identify the player, also to make sure their hand is behind the line. Once the sprinter is about to run, click record. Slowly zoom out while keeping the sprinter in the middle of the camera. Once the sprinter passes the line by a few yards, click stop. If you want to save and record later, click later. That way, you can quickly start recording the next sprinter. If you want to time the 40 yard dash right away, click now. To start timing, Place your finger on the left blue bar and drag it to the right until the moment the sprinter's hand leaves the ground. Once you see the hand leave the ground, lift your finger off the blue bar. To finish timing, place your finger on the right blue bar and drag it to the left until the moment the sprinter's chest touches the finish line. Once you see the chest touch the finish line, lift your finger off the blue bar. Click save when you are done timing the sprint. Insert the player's name here to easily find later. If you want to record another sprint, click record sprint. Next, I'll show you how to see your saved sprints and certify sprint to join our charts pages. Click Saved Sprints. Here you will see all the sprints you have recorded. To edit the name, click the pencil icon at the top left of the video thumbnail. To change, insert the name and click Done. To delete a sprint, click the X at the top right of the video thumbnail. Click Yes to delete or click Cancel. Now let's view the sprint by clicking on the thumbnail. On this page, you can watch the sprint by clicking play, 
time the sprint again by clicking edit time. You can time it just like earlier in the video. By clicking the button, record new sprint brings you to the home page. The download to phone button saves the video to your camera roll. If you want to send your sprint to us to be certified, click certify now. Help the sprinter prove their time or help them get recruited by purchasing a certification. A certification includes our team personally time your sprint to certify the correct 40 yard dash time. Your 40 yard dash added to our charts pages on the app and website. The video of the sprint posted to our YouTube page and receive a personal athlete page on perfectcombine.com which fans, coaches, or recruiters will be able to easily view. Next, select how many credits you would like to buy. Now that we purchased one credit, we can certify the 40 yard dash. Enter the sprinter's information here. Their name, school name, high school graduation year, position, and type 40 yard dash for the event. Then click done. All the information we need to certify your time has been automatically added to this email. All you need to do is click the little blue send button at the top right of the screen. Click the actual size option. Now click use mail drop. If you don't click use mail drop, we will not receive the email. We will certify your time and add the sprint to our charts pages in about 24 to 48 hours. You will receive a confirmation email shortly. If you made a mistake or have questions, click the help button below to send us an email. Now, let's see the certified charts pages I've been mentioning. From the home page, click Certified Charts. This will show all the 40 yard dash times that our team has certified from fastest to slowest. Use the Sort Chart button to select what you would like to view. You can compare age groups or by position. For example, you can compare high school and professional players then you can choose to compare quarterbacks with the wide receivers. Now the charts page will display 40 yard dashes depending on the criteria you have selected. To view the athlete's 40 yard dash video, click watch video. To see their profile on perfectcombine.com, click view profile. Here you can see the athlete's individual player profile page. If you want to send it to a friend, fan, coach, or recruiter, copy the website link on the browser. If you have questions, send us an email by going to the settings page. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we look forward to certifying your 40 yard dash times. Good luck this season.